What do you think about that? Y'all wanna see how it works? Come on, sweetie. Come on, Stella, you wanna ride? Come on, sweetie, you wanna ride the wagon? Come on, my love. Come here, baby. Let's show everybody how it works. Come on. Ready? Upsy doozies. Get in the wagon, sweetie. All right, sit down right there, love. There we go, good girl. Here we go, choo-choo, choo-choo. Everyone look at, look at my sweet girl. Choo-choo-choo, oh boy. She loves the wagon rides. Woo-wee, choo-choo. Now we're gonna back it up, sweetie. Beep, 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 beep. Back to forward. Oh boy. Oh no. I'm gonna have to buy me a wagon for Stella. Y'all, Stella's gonna need her own wagon. <laughs> Stella's gonna need a wagon. Sweetie. <laughs> Stella needs a wagon, y'all. She needs a wagon because she loves these radio flyers. Oh, she loves to do everything with her daddy, even go for wagon rides. She's our testing dummy right now. She's our testing dummy to make sure everything's gonna work. She goes, if it's approved, put the approval stamp on there, daddy. Oh, there you go. Thank you, love. You know those little stickers you can buy or the ones that you see on your clothing, approved by Inspector 9? In, approved by Inspector 12. Well, guess what? Approved by Inspector Stella. This wagon has been approved by Inspector Stella. Well, good morning, folks. Lester here. And uh, today we're going to be putting together a gift for Jake and Lissa for their baby shower. Now, I'm going to tell you a little bit of a neat story behind not this, but these in general. And it goes all the way back to when my son was just a little guy. That would be my oldest son, L.E. Let me go ahead and set my camera up, and then I will get what I need, and we'll start putting this thing together. And we'll have a little talk while we do so. So in case you guys are wondering where I'm at, the setting of my video, the setting of my story is here in my work shop area. And uh, I'm gonna be putting the camera here on my tripod. I have all my tools that I'll need to do this. So, all righty, there we go. Um, this is a wagon. And the reason that I gift wagons to every expecting couple. Every expecting couple. I've done it to Brienne for Cash and Carter. And I've done it to all of my teaching friends when they were gonna have their babies. I've given wagons to every single expectant couple because how a wagon saved me. Whenever L.E. was just a baby and uh, he had a hard time falling asleep or staying asleep, oftentimes, as you know, a lot of parents will take their kids for a car ride. But, and of course, we could do that too. We took L.E. for car rides and you put him in that car seat and take him for a drive around the corner and they fall asleep. But the problem is, as soon as that car ride was over, L.E. would wake back up. He was, he, was, he was that good. He would wake right back up. So you can see I'm struggling getting this thing out of the box. So I also would take him on my four-wheeler and we would do little four-wheeler rides. I don't wanna break anything. He's gonna tear more of the box open. So I would take him on the four-wheeler and we would do four-wheeler rides. But even then, once that four-wheeler ride was over, no matter how good you think he was sleeping, he would wake right back up and get right back to whining, crying, just, you know, 
he was tired, but he couldn't stay asleep. So it was at that point that I discovered the wagon. Someone had gifted us a wagon, and up until that point, my uh, wife had used it just to kind of keep all of his toys in. Was, you know, it was a wagon full of toys, and we could just move it from room to room, which worked out great. But what I did was took all of the toys out of it and put a single pillow along the bottom. Now, at that age, he couldn't set up. He could only lay. But I would lay him into the wagon on top of that pillow where there's little walls so he couldn't, like, fall out. And I could take that wagon and I could move it around the house. Now, get this. I could also take that wagon and I would take the handle. Here's the handle. And I would literally put my foot into here. I could sit at the TV and play Xbox if I wanted to. I was a much younger man then. I could play my Xbox and do whatever and just take my foot and I would move the wagon around. And as long as he was in that wagon with that movement, man, he could just sleep. And we did that for hours and hours and hours. When we went to the park or to the grocery store, he only wanted to be in that wagon. No, no, no. I know what you moms are saying. Well, you could have got him a... a, a you <laughs> women have all these amazing things that they make for those kind of women. Fancy, expensive things. But no, my son wanted to be in his red wagon. And so I would load this up in my truck, just throw it in the back and drive wherever we had to go. And when we got there, I would unload my wagon, drop him into it, and there we go across Walmart, through the mall, uh, wherever we were gonna go shopping, whatever we were doing, he would be in his wagon. Now, as he got older, what was neat is, these wagons also have little side rails on them. So I would set the back onto the wagon and I would prop a dual pillow, one pillow this way and one this way. And he would actually set up and lean back onto the, the, the seat rest. And so, as embarrassed as my son may be at this age, uh, hearing this story, he was probably three or four years old before he finally outgrew his wagon. But at that point, he himself would put his toys in the wagon and he would move them around the house back and forth. So that wagon not only saved us from a very cranky and hard to uh, it, it saved us, y'all. It saved us, and it was the best gift we were ever given. And so now, be it a little boy or a little girl, they make pink and red wagons, radio flyers, and that has what is what I've always gifted to every friend and family member for their baby showers. So, there you go. And that is why I will be gifting this to Jake and Lissa if I can ever get it out of the box.
I'm feeling good about this project. Look at there. Okay, now it does come with side walls. Check it out. This wagon does come with side walls. Side walls are optional, depending on what you want to use your wagon for. I'm going to go ahead and attach the side walls because I'm going to guess that Lissa and Jake will use it more as a storage for their toys and other gifts for now. And that will mean it will need walls to hold all of those things in. But the basics of the wagon are there. What do y'all think? What do you think about that? Y'all want to see how it works? Come on, sweetie. Come on, Stella. You want to ride? Come on, sweetie. You want to ride the wagon? Come on, my love. Give me a baby. Let's show everybody how it works. Come on. Ready? Upsy doozies. Get in the wagon, sweetie. All right. Sit down right there, love. There we go. Good girl. Here we go. Choo choo. Choo-choo, everyone look at, look at my sweet girl. Choo-choo-choo, oh boy. She loves the wagon rides. Woo-wee, choo-choo. Now we're gonna back it up, sweetie. Beep, 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 beep. There we go. All done and ready for the baby shower. dun da 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 Let your troubles fester. Come watch Longhorn Lester. <laughs> yeah, something like that.